let this information out. The most enduring experiments have been in the field of remote viewing. We got into it when we discovered that they were in it. I realize that what people can do is quiet their mind and describe the experiences that appear in your awareness. We've been investigating a phenomenon called remote viewing. We found that many individuals are able to accurately describe what's going on in distant locations, blocked from any kind of ordinary perception. Don't name it, just tell me what appears mm -hmm. in your visual field, and then draw that. Are you saying that the work you've been doing is classified? I really can't talk about uh, matters of classification, as you can imagine. My name is Russell Targ, and I'm a physicist. Let me tell you, we have an idea Rather than doing a remote viewing, which people have done very often on television, we have this very cool GoPro camera. I've done so many remote viewings with you, and I've always wanted to do this kind, where there was an actual person instead of a computer on the other end. Mm -hmm. We thought we would put a GoPro camera on one of our cameramen, and then we can synchronize our iPhone and see if she can, see if Gail can crack an outbound remote viewer. You'll find three different places and you'll stay at each place for five minutes and then move on. One, two, three, go. Four, forty-five. Means I have five minutes and 15 seconds to get to some location. So just, just take a couple of breaths now and re relax. Do a, a whole minute to relax for this experiment. We'll do a quick stopwatch check. Now it is 8.51, not the time, but stopwatch that is still synchronized with the other two stopwatches. Coming into a place now, I'd like you to quiet your mind and tell me about the new surprising images that show up in your awareness. He's looking at some interesting thing. I'm up now, I'm out of the car now. I'm exiting the vehicle. What kind of shapes or forms come into your view? Can you tell me about what you're drawing? Well, I feel like it's a corner. Like I'm in a corner or the corner building or something. And I'm trying not to tell you because you've always taught me that you just describe the shapes. You don't say exactly what you're thinking. If I was using my analytical mind, I would say movie theater. But we're not supposed to do that. We're just supposed to have shapes. What are you seeing that makes I'm you seeing say like, movie theater? Like this kind of a shape, yes. like this, and like, like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Little circles all around the, mm -hmm. the, like that, with little, and I always have things with color, I feel there's something black. He is still at his place, walking around, looking to see what he's got. Does anything new show up in your awareness? Metal. Can you tell me about the metal? It's like thin metal. I almost want to say like a bench. I'm such a poor drawer, but... It's 15 minutes. It means that right now they should be looking at me. I don't know if you can see this, but there's something about this, like a, I don't want to say bridge, but some kind of like a walking way and he's walking away like here. And kind of industrial or, you know, like more, where before I felt more like I was in downtown or something. Now I feel like I'm more in like a, 
yards or uh, like I'm not at a coffee shop. Time is now 20 minutes. I am slightly behind schedule, but I believe I have a third location. 20 minutes. Here I am. We're actually looking at this little guy here. Petaluma Market. Yellow comes in my mind. Orange. Are there any surprises as you look around? It's sort of, it kind of felt like a boing, like a spring. I don't know, just something very happy about this feeling here. I don't know what that is. That's what I'm focusing on right now. That looks festive. Yeah. I think he might be done. Sort of felt more like I was in his head and that he really felt like he wanted a cup of coffee. <laughs> and a cup of coffee at 24 minutes. Right? <laughs>